This is my old Gilly Duck play playthrough on veteran arcade mode. Try, I try to run up, try to get the two of them lined up so the one's behind the other, it's an easier shot. Just for consistency. This bit here was my trick in a loot. You have to make sure he's away from that building, get him with the headshot because they can easily be alerted. Well, I've seen him just moving forward or sometimes he can just stand there and not move. This bit's tricky, you have to try and Get out of one, make sure he's next to the two of them, or three of them in one shot. There's a lot more trick in the loot. That caused numerous problems, I had to keep going back at it because of that part. This bit is fairly straightforward. Just make sure that I get the headshots. Get my points. Bought that car, get my, my points from that. At this point here, what I'm doing is, is timing it, going up these, this ladder. Just f for the sake of timing it, and then going back down. There's no reason for me doing that other than trying to time it so when the helicopter comes, you see, I'll, I'll pick up the stinger myself. Me timing it again, try to time it in my mind so that to make sure that helicopter is at the right distance. At this point, I wasn't sure where I'd got to be. You'll see it coming up. Let me try to stop my melon for running by me now. And you see the thousand points here, that's the helicopter destroyed. point I'm trying to move up as quickly as I can and run up this field as far as I can before crouching down. And if you're trying to do it in a fast time that, that's, that's what you would do but by this point I need to wait in McMillan. Anyway, um, I was just doing this to show off. To make sure you don't get too close to that APC, otherwise you'll just attack, otherwise you just get run over. Um, I suppose a bit tricky if they try and get between the, the two of them, the soldiers, and crawl and move forward, but not, not too quick. At this point, I just I just lay there. There's no point moving forward anymore because I need to wait on McMillan anyway. At that point really I was just kind of just steady myself for what's to come. It's like I kind of rest, have no rest. Okay, let's move. Nice. There again, just, just kind of steady myself for what's to come, trying to focus. Seen it well there until I got up and I was checking behind me to get my bearings so I knew where to run next. Make sure I'm in a good position. Just quickly immediately get down when you shoot one of them and immediately get back there. Because they just they just know where you are right away. And they can kill you from that range instantly. 
this point I've been cautious because some of the soldiers can you know, actually come round to there to get you and the reaction, not so quick at reaction and just can kill me so quick. Just me get in a position there just to make sure if I am run round I could get them. Also at this point I was making sure that enough of the soldiers had got close to where McMillan, McMillan is. So they're all focused on McMillan, there's no, not any trying to get me. Still being cautious at this point. Just steadily moving around, very steadily. Just getting the headshots. Yeah, group them. At that point I was worried in case uh, one soldier had broken away from the main group and run towards me. I've done that before. At this point you've got to balance it between getting the points and doing enough to get the points. and You can't play it too safe, you've really got to go for it. Get a few headshots in the road there, so I kept reloading. I hadn't got quite enough points as, as I'd like to have, but it was still a good, good enough. I said to myself, as long as I get about ten thousand at this point, and that's okay. Still on target. 